Hi everybody, welcome to our home. Uh, I'm Yao Yang and this is Cheryl. By day, I'm a, I, I work in the cybersecurity industry and by night, uh, um, this is our little home. So we'd love to share with you a little bit more about our home today. So this is a corner terrace at the end of a cul-de-sac. Actually, I was viewing it on the property guru and then I saw the red brick exterior and I thought it looked very cottagey and you know, I always like this kind of very uh, rustic farmhouse look. So I thought the exterior was very nice. We love to host people, so when we saw the space inside the house, it was very big and we thought, oh, we could do a lot of things with the layout. I think one of the things that we really tried to do in this house was to kind of integrate the house with the outdoor. Yeah. We didn't want like a stuck distinction between what's indoor and what's outdoor but we wanted it to feel as one integrated space. Like, the reason why I didn't want a TV here, right, is because this sliding door is always open. As you can see, our table is outside. So, um, when we leave it open, sometimes people will sit in the living, sometimes they will sit outside, you know? It's, it's, I, like the, I like the openness where, you know, you can sit everywhere. Previously, I used to bake a lot, so uh, it, it's nice when we have like a huge space. For us, food really brings people together. So when we thought about how we want to organise our house, especially on the first floor, we organised it in a fashion whereby we wanted to engage our um, you know, friends, family, not just in eating but in cooking as well, in preparation of the food. Yeah, and to add to that, right, the island is designed such that when they come over, they help themselves to everything on the island. The plates and cups are all self-service. When they ask for water, we'll be like, okay, go help yourself, you know? A lot of open spaces, um, a lot of worktops where we can, um, you know, prepare food together, chair. Of course, you know, for outdoor as well, what's really important to us as well is we made it such that the barbecue and smoker is accessible to the dining room. Um, we wanted to, our guests to be able to see, smell, help out and be engaged in that you know, barbecue cooking process and everything like that. Our kids, you know, being four and five years old, they love running around, they love interacting with nature. I mean, there's a, there's a curiosity in them that we don't want to snuff out. So they go out, they touch, they smell, they feel, they observe. And I think that is really important to us. A bit of like a treasure hunter. But previously, when I fly, I like I like to go to those old flea market to look for antique and vintage. So I think I kind of influenced him. We got this piece here uh, from a place called Hokxiong, where you know they they upcycle uh, a lot of uh, old furniture. So from a sustainability point of view, you know I always love the concept of circular economy. These furniture. They are all like old pieces, maybe it's from really long ago. It's like a little bit of history of Singapore as well because some of these pieces can be from like old, old hotels, hotels or old yeah. iconic places in Singapore and it's a waste if, if it gets just thrown away, yeah. right? The piece of Singapore is kind of forgotten. Recently after moving here, I have started growing edibles. So I'm very, very busy all morning. I'm either like sewing, uh, watering my plants. Actually, I wanted to have a sewing room. I have my whole sewing corner set up into the, the master where it's quite, it's quite nice. The space in our room is really good. At least he's, he's there to accompany me when I'm sewing late into the night. We do spend a lot of our time upstairs as well, especially in the living area. Mm. Uh, I think that's where uh, after, you know, busy day of work, we all go there and we all wind down together. So for us, that living area upstairs is, is, is our coziest spot in the house. Big plush sofa and stuff like that. Been back there. Yeah, been back. Um, the other one is the girls' room as well. You know, girls always wanted a double decker bed, so um, they got it. We've tried to get them involved in actually designing their own room. So the colour palettes, um, the curtain fabrics, uh, those were all also chosen Picked by, the by them. Yeah. yeah. So I think they enjoyed the process as much as we did. Yeah, no, we really loved the house at the end of the day. The journey for us was always something a little bit more special, but the house turned out a lot better than what we envisioned. Uh, we find ourselves very busy. I think in a week, maybe out of seven days, we have five days where people are just coming over every day. <laughs> Everybody is like, hey, uh, shall we meet up at your place? And I'm like, okay, sure. So every other day we are hosting people. I mean, I don't mind that. I, we actually love that. That's what we wanted. So. It's not just us who like our house, I think everybody loves our house. <laughs>